Now, a new Christian film from executive producers Kirk Cameron and the Kendrick Brothers will hit theaters nationwide tomorrow. The movie is called Life Mark, and it's based on a true story that celebrates adoption, reconciliation, and love. Joining me now to discuss this, as well as his new film, is Stephen Kendrick, executive producer of Life Mark. Stephen, welcome to Washington Watch. Hey, it's my pleasure to be a part of the program tonight. We really appreciate all you guys do every day, and we're excited about Life Mark hitting theaters this weekend. Well, we are excited about what you are doing as well. It's so true. There is so much bad media and it's such a great platform. It's such a great medium and it's so powerful because it changes and affects the way we, we think and feel and act. And it should be used for good more often than it is. And we're thankful to you uh, for using it for the purpose that God intended for it. But tell us a little bit about the new film that you have coming out this weekend. Life Mark is based on a true story. Uh, it is a pro-life, pro-adoption movie. Uh, it's actually about an 18-year-old girl who was feeling pressured to have an abortion. At the last second, she made the decision to put her baby up for adoption. When she had him and held him, she changed her mind and, and wanted to keep him, but she had made a commitment to the adoption. And then you fast forward to... 18 years later, he was adopted with a Christian family that raised him, loved him. He loved his life. But when the adoption records opened up, he was able to make contact with his birth mom and go on a journey with a friend to see her and meet her for the first time. Well, she thought he hated her guts and that she was afraid to meet him. But he just wanted to thank her for choosing life and for the decision she made to put him up for adoption. It ends up, they go skydiving together the next day. They now travel and speak and talk about uh, how this one decision has impacted them, their families, and other generations. And he's now a, a lawyer, and he's helping other families to adopt as well. This movie uh, really presents the entire perspective. You see the birth mom and her perspective. You see the child growing up and what he thinks about his life. You see the adopted parents. And you follow them over 20 years. And there's action in this movie. There's humor. There's drama. There's emotion. But it communicates a biblical message that life is precious and adoption is beautiful. So we think that right now, this generation of the church needs to hear this because the Supreme Court battle has gone from Roe v. Wade being overturned at the national level to now being 50 battles at the state level legislators at every state level need to be encouraged and prayed over to choose life for the people in their states. They will be held accountable by God for that decision. The church at the same time has to stand up and support adoption right now for such a time as this. Your description of the movie is one that I agree with. I have seen it. It is an incredibly uplifting message. And, you know, I know it takes more than a few weeks to make a movie. And so you've been working on this for a while, but the timing is incredible because with the over uh, the reversal of Roe versus Wade, as you mentioned, this is now an issue in every state in America, which means every person has a say. Do you think that that's providential? Absolutely. We spent months in prayer after the movie Overcomer, asking God to give us clarity on next steps. When he led us to this story, it was completely outside of our box. Kirk Cameron had contacted us. He had watched a documentary called I Lived on Parker Avenue that was just riveting. And Kirk called us and said, this lines up with everything I believe in. Uh, would you guys pray about you know, consulting me on this project, should this be made into a feature film? Yeah. When we watched it, we were in a puddle, we were moved emotionally, and the Lord just gave us a total peace about moving forward with this project. We had no idea that when we were completing it, and it was about to be released in 48 states and 1,500 theaters, right. that Roe v. Wade would be overturned. So God's providential timing, his laser precise timing is at play right now. And we're just very grateful to be a part of it. Stephen Kendrick, in about 20 seconds, how can people go watch it? Lifemarkmovie.com, the website. You can go to lifemarkmovie.com, type in your zip code. You can see what theaters are playing the film and uh, you can watch trailers and clips, but it's all across the nation. 
You can watch it with your family. We will encourage you, you know, take your church, your business, support this film and use it to change lives in your community. You won't regret it. And that's exactly what we hope people will do. Stephen Kendrick, thanks so much for swinging by. Thank you so much. God bless. Take care.